Welcome to TechTube. Today we will see how we can interface PS sensor with Arduino. Now let us look the PS sensor module. As you can see on the right hand side we got our PS module and we have the pins like this. TO, DO, PO, ground ground, VCC. Now TO is temperature output, DO is 3.3 volt output, PO is PH analog output and these are the two ground pins and the VCC pin. Now we have to connect VCC to 5 volt ground to ground and PO to A0 pin of Arduino Uno. Now remember guys only connect the first ground pin from here from VCC not the second one as it is not required. You can connect that pin also but it is unnecessary so it's your wish. Now we'll see the pH probe. This is the pH probe look like uh, we have the glass membrane internal buffer ele internal electrode reference electrode and the ref reference electrode from this side okay now how the ph is calculated is based on the nurse equation and the nurse equation is look like this go to this block as you can see on this side and go to ph sensor and click on the read mode See, the NOST equation look like this. E is equal to E0 minus 2.3 RT upon NF ln of Q. And you can find the parameters over here. Now, we'll see the hardware. So, this is how pH module look like. I've got here, as you can see, pH4502C. Now, these are the pins of pH module as you can see and we have got one BNC connector BNC interface and we have pins like this we have TO, TO is temperature output we got DO, DO is for 3.3 volt output then PO, PO is pH analog output and we got two ground pins and one VCC pin and as you can see these are two variable port one this variable port is for analog reading offset and this variable port is for ph limit setting now as you can see this is nothing but temperature compensation and these are four mounting holes so this is how the ph module look like and here we'll connect the ph probe i will show you how ph probe look so this is the ph probe and it's stored in electrode storage bottle i will show you how it look like let me open this as you can see this is the liquid and i will focus here as you can see this is the glass and we have to store the pH in the storage electrode storage bottle only to get the perfect reading otherwise it will it will affect the readings and we'll connect the BNC cable as you can see probe like this now we are ready to go the hardware the first thing you should do is to calibrate your pH sensor and how you can do that by adding this pH buffer powder. We all know that as the temperature varies, the pH varies, right? So how you can do that? First take 250 milliliter of water, right? And add this 250 milliliter solution powder in that. Now suppose the temperature of water is 30 degrees Celsius. So after adding pH 6.86 at 30 degrees Celsius of water, you should get the result around 6.85. You can do the same thing in the code and I will show you how to do that in the code. First, you have to understand this. Let's go to our whiteboard. Now suppose we have a solution whose pH is 7, right? whose pH is 7 and now when the electrode is dipped in the reference solution as I have shown you uh, we have got one probe and the in the lower part of the probe we got the electrode storage bottle right when you upload this 
code first you will get some initial ph right suppose that ph is 6.5 right now what you have to do you have to subtract these two value and you will get 0 0.5 now in the code as you can see at line number 7 float calibration value is 21.34 but this is not what we want okay so what you have to do you have to calibrate it by adding 21.34 plus this result okay 0 0.5 now after adding this you will get 21.84 right so now you have to write 21.84 now we'll upload this code okay as it says now we'll upload this code okay as it says done uploading and one more thing guys what you want to see in the future please comment down in the comment down and let me know what sensor would you like to see in the future videos and stuff like that and also you can go to these site this website and you can find everything related to ps sensor the pin diagram and uh, how to calibrate it and how to take check the offset and the ph buffer powder how you can do that calibration you can find the code over here and you can see the result here okay right and you can also see the nurse equation right copying code and uh, just uploading in the arduino is not what we you want right you just want to uh, learn everything about that center you work on so please comment down and let me know what you want to see in the future for now we'll see the hardware right now i have connected the Ar arduino with lcd and i have connected the ps sensor as you can see with the arduino uno now we'll write the code for the same after uploading the code as you can see i have dipped this ph probe into the glass of water and you have to stir it well to get the correct reading now as you can see we are getting 6.76 almost close to neutral so this is how you interface ph sensor with arduino uno